All right, so I just got my 1.3 gigahertz crosshair antenna from Video Aerial Systems, also known as IB Crazy. And look at that. So 1.3 gigahertz crosshair extreme, and this is a right hand circularly polarized uh, antenna. I've already opened the box so and these are the specifications so it's a high gain antenna with a 10.25 dB IC of gain and it has an axial ratio of 99 and as you can see it's got a beam width of 120 degrees and I got this for $65 from ReadyMate RC so I'll link this in the description in case you want to check it out or you want to buy it you can visit the website and place your order as well at first I thought of getting the pepper box extreme but then I decided to buy this instead and see how this performs and if required I might even buy the pepper box later on if required so let's have a look what's inside the box So it's got a really nice and premium finish on the back, so feels quite good. We have a tripod adapter over here, so you can mount a tripod adapter over here. So I have an adapter with me, so and then we have a SMA connection to which we will connect our receiver, our 1.2 GHz video receiver. So, and we have this coaxial extension cable and a video aerial system uh, sticker. So, so that's what you get inside the box. And this is the antenna. So, so definitely looks good and. I even like how it smells so so it's got that factory smell and and those are the elements I'm not sure if you can remove this but I don't want to remove it anyways so so this is my 1.2 gigahertz video receiver it's a partum 1.2 gigahertz video receiver you can also get uh, one from ready-made RC which is slightly better but but this also works quite good so so that's how you attach your receiver to the antenna so now let me just mount this on my tripod over here So the crosshair extreme is good if you want to fly or operate where there's a lot of surrounding objects and you want to penetrate through them. So this is where the crosshair extreme is meant to be used. Whereas the pepper box extreme is more towards flying at low altitude but for longer distance. So you could use an antenna tracker for this to even optimize the results. But I'm going to use this with my RC car. And I went through a few videos on video aerial systems. The best antenna for RC cars uh, was this. So although the pepper box extreme is also a very good option in fact. Because the pepper box extreme is nothing but two crosshair extremes. So like I said before, I'll first use this, see how it performs. And if I'm happy with it, I'll continue using this. And maybe if needed, I might buy the pepper box extreme. But for now, this should be enough. So now I also have the blue beam ultra antennas on my way so once I get those I will be using that as well on my video transmitter. So overall that should make a good setup for my video aspect. So that's all I have to share in this video. Make sure to like it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and if you have any questions or suggestions you can comment them below and stay tuned for the next videos where I will be testing this 
crosshair extreme and see how far I can go with the video range. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.